We're making pandasol. Pandasol. Yeah. And what are our ingredients, Drew? Milk. Okay. An egg. Uh, eggs, yeah. Egg. egg. What's this? Salt. Salt. Uh, Sugar. Sugar. What's this one? Caesar. Yeast. Yeast. What are they going to get? Sugar. Uh, what? Yeah, sugar. What Yeast and sugar? butter. Butter. And what's this big one over here? Flour. Flour. Okay, so we're using bread flour this time. Yeah. 600 grams of bread flour. Yeah. And we have um, about a cup and a half of milk, mm -hmm. two tablespoons of butter, seven grams of yeast, um, 100 grams of sugar, two eggs, and 13 grams of salt. Um, fine and sea eggs. Salt. Two eggs. That's right, we said two eggs. Okay, so first thing in, for this mixer, it's all liquid first, oh. and then we add the, the dry ingredients. Daddy, so pour in the milk. Water. Oh, there's no, we're not using water. Why? So, okay, pour in the milk. Careful. Okay. Okay. Pour in the butter. Too high. Melted butter. Uh -huh. okay. 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 What's the next liquid ingredient? You see something else that's liquid? Yes. No, liquid. Liquid. Eggs. Can you pour those in? Yeah. Okay. Two. Uh, flour mixed. Spoons of flour. Um, can I do it? I don't want to make a mess. It's okay, make a mess. We'll clean it up later. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll move it out of your way so you can get closer to the, yeah. the, the mixer. Yeah. You can see. It's not good. Okay. It's not good. That is so cool. Okay. Don't touch any of the spinning stuff, okay? Huh? Why? Yeah, because you don't want the spoon to get stuck on there. So just put the flour in. Don't spill it out. And I can do it. I don't like it. Oh yeah. This one is good. This one is good. So we're letting the flour hydrate a little bit um, with all the liquid that's there before we add more. Daddy? He's letting it combine and it'll start getting a little shaggy. It's already shaggy. It's already shaggy? Yeah. Oh. It's already sticky. Sticky? Okay, we'll add a little bit more flour. And Daddy? Yeah? And why the flour turns in sticky? Because it gets wet and start, the moisture starts um, hydrating the flour and it oh, starts yeah. creating gluten. It's sticky. Another spoon? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeast. Yeah. And uh, shake, shake it, it in there. Move it around. Yeah, yeast on there. And this is instant dry yeast, so it doesn't have to be hydrated before you come in the air and dry the yeast. Yeah. Remember? Okay. Careful. Yeah, that's okay, Mimi. Look at this. I don't want to leave you. I'm going to get the pepper and measure that. I'm going to get the ruler now.
So this will run for how many minutes? Five minutes. Yeah, we'll need a game, we'll check the temperature of the dough because the Nautilus. So after that first five minute uh, mix, we've covered it and let it rest for about 15 minutes and uh, let it start to build up some more strength. Oh, 15 minutes? Yep. It's only sitting here. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. So it doesn't matter because doesn't initially matter. we said five minutes. No, I, I, I run it for five minutes oh, okay. and let it rest and then I run it for another five minutes. Oh, okay. Should start forming like a donut around the, the rover as it gets stronger. The good thing about this mixer is it's wide open, the bowl moves, and so you can, you can get in and scrape it down without stopping the mixer. And you can, it's wide open, you can add ingredients right from the top while it's running. Um, it's very powerful. It has a, the, the rolling action from the roller uh, kneads the dough um, really gently, like, like fingers, like you're hand kneading it. So this is what the dough looks like after five minutes of mixing. And I put it in a bowl and just do a few uh, stretch and folds, turning it until it's smooth. And then I'll leave it in here for an hour uh, covered so that it does, and with, I put a little bit of um, oil to keep it from getting a dry outside on it. Okay. So after hour, one hour of rest, then I will portion it into um, individual pieces, coat in breadcrumbs, and then bake. Okay, the dough's been resting for uh, about one hour. So now I'm gonna turn it out and portion it out into uh, pieces for the pendasol and then coat in uh, breadcrumbs, which I have over here. So I like to make it into kind of, kind of logs, so over three sections. And once I have a section, just using a flatten it out to stretch it out, portion it out. Just making it kind of uh, even. And then I'll, I'll tuck it and roll it to get a, a seam. So tuck here, roll. And then I'm tucking in on the other side.
that's how I do it. They're not uniform, they're not they're all the same size. Um, now I'll go back to the first one that I started, lay it out, and now uh, I'm just gonna cut it on a small bias, so the end piece, and then a piece about that size, and you got a, a cut piece, and I just put it back down inside the breadcrumb to coat, coat, coat the cut piece. So you can see it. And the end pieces will just be uh, put together. And then these just get thrown back in the breadcrumbs um, to get coated. And then back on the, then they'll go on the baking sheet. Yeah, cleaning up after the baking pandasama. Into the outside.